Hey guys, what is going on? This is the James Wise Magic Review, and today we are going to be reviewing Cookie Cutter by Dansberry. Now, if you are not familiar with this effect, is it's basically a variation on the Russian roulette routine. Being able to, you know, the basic Russian roulette routine uh, for the magician's point of view is usually put like like a nail or a spike underneath a cup, switch it around and stuff, and then you slam your hand on each cup and try to have the spike the cup with the spike underneath it to be the last one you find it without getting yourself hurt this is just a variation uh, in a more uh, comical way more fun way with an oreo if you have no idea what i'm talking about i'll post links in the description below where you can view the trailer and purchase the effect if you're so interested in it but basically you uh take four oreo cookies you stick a real razor blade inside of the stuffing of one of the cookies you uh, tell a spectator to just mix it all around, make it all difficult. You'll, you turn your back so you can't see anything. And you take each Oreo and stuff them in your mouth and try not to cut yourself until the very last Oreo remains that hopefully will have the razor blade in it. Now the download quality and the teaching is top of the line. Of course, it's by Theory11.com. Everything is great. And, you know, the video, the, uh, the uh, editing, the sound, everything is great. Um, the teaching is awesome. Dan Sperry is a wonderful teacher. He teaches you everything you need to know. And just by, uh, if you have seen the trailer for those effects, or if you just watched it just recently, or you watched it after this video, whatever, you will see that Dan Sperry is a really funny guy. He's just like really, really hyper, especially in this video. Uh, where he's just going crazy, you know, he presents this as, as more of a comedy effect, but you know, he says, you know, it's really up to your improvisation. You can do, you can perform it as a comedy effect, a more dramatic effect, whatever you want to do. But as you can see, it's performed more, um, and for Dan's case, it's performed more of a comedy effect. Um, so you have, you know, the quality is amazing, the teacher is amazing, so you will have no problem learning what you need to know. Okay, so the question is, is it impromptu? Is it a gimmick? And then what, if it's impromptu or gimmick or whatever, is it practical? This trick is 110% impromptu. There is no setup, there is no gimmicks, nothing. Uh, you could be at a friend's house and you could just have some Oreo cookies lying around and be like, hey, I wanna show you a trick. And just pull the cookies out and um, you can do it. Uh, as well as, um, you know, you don't have to use necessarily a razor blade and whether if you're just like too young to play be playing with razor blades or maybe you you, know, you had an incident with razor blades and you're not really you know not supposed to be playing around with this or what, whatever the reason may be maybe you don't just maybe you just don't like razor blades uh he does tell you that there are alter alternatives such as using like a paper clip a quarter the tab of a soda can or just any other thing but if you are allowed to uh, use razor blades. He does recommend using razor blades because of the danger. Um, but yeah, like I said before, um, this is completely impromptu, no setup, no gimmicks. Uh, and is it practical? Yes, I, in my opinion, the method is completely practical. That being, of course, I think it's you know it's 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 practical because there's no setup, no gimmicks, none of that kind of stuff. And the, the move happens in a nonchalant thing. You know, people aren't burning your hands because they think you're just talking, you know? They think you're just telling telling a story or whatever. You know, if you're doing, with some moves, like if you're doing like a pass or whatever, they're kind of, you know, if you don't present it just right, they're kind of burning your hands, you know? You're doing a move as the effect is supposed to be happening. But in this case, the move isn't really happening um, in a big magic moment. It's just, you're talking, you're just, it's nonchalant, it does, calls no attention to it, so I think it's completely practical and just something that will uh, kill audiences and just make them be on the edge of the seats because you are dealing with razor blades in the mouth and it's dangerous and blah. All right, so some of my personal thoughts about this. I Like I said before, I love this effect. It's really, really cool. There's only one part of this effect that I really don't like. It's the um, final part between the 50-50 shot between the cookie that has the razor blade in it and the cookie that may, uh, that does not. Um, you know, the spectator chooses the cookie to put in your hand and you eat it and stuff. If it works out for you just fine, it's probably one of the most beautiful parts in Magic. Um, because, 
it just seems so fair there's like no magician forces or anything but if for any reason they choose the wrong cookie there really isn't any outs other than the fact that you know dan does teach you to say you know oh he, he does teach you a, a, like a an out but it's not an out that i personally like because you just kind of have to pretend that's the right one you'll see what i mean if you buy it or already have it but it's just it's an out that i not particularly a fan of but like i said if it does work out for you just right it is probably one of the most beautiful parts in magic it just seems so fair um but other than that this effect is beautiful i love this effect and i suggest you guys check it out okay so some final thoughts um this effect can be purchased on theory11.com for 9.95 like i said i'll post links in the description below we can view the trailer and purchase it if you're so interested in buying it. But um, uh, 995 is it, it's a little it's a little expensive, but y you know it is a very very good routine. I do I do think it's worth it in the end. Um, it's something that you will use whether it be in a close up or uh, stage presence type of um, presentation. But this is something that you will use, so I highly encourage you guys to go watch it. All right, that is all for today. So thank you so much for joining me in the James Wise Magic Review. If you want me to review anything, whether it be a, a download, uh, a DVD, book, deck of cards, whatever, leave comments in the uh, section below and let me know what you, want, what you guys want me to review next. Um, just like because with Cookie Cutter, someone had uh, emailed me or you know personal message me, whatever. Um, on my YouTube channel, and they're just like, hey, can you review uh, Cookie Cutter by Dan Sperry? And I thought it was a great idea. So leave comments below, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next week.